Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. <laughs> I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. This guy's typical upper management, isn't he? Just make it work. I don't care that it can't work. Just do it. I'm Reed Thompson, Outpost Administrator. I must say, wearing a Marauder's outfit is in very poor taste. I do wish you'd show your uniform a little more respect. Uniform? What are you talking about? Actually, I'll go with I don't work for Spacer's Choice. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town Ooh. transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen She's interesting. on it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Frying myself? Oh, yeah. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. That sounds dumb. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Yeah, number one. Define mostly abandoned, please. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. I don't think these people would take kindly to losing their power. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Tell me what I need to do. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Unlikely. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. How will I recognize Adelaide? Other than the fact that her name will be floating above her head. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified. Kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. What if Adelaide doesn't want to come back? That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. All right. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you. Are you my first companion? Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb. But I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Yeah, girl. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Cool, we've got two, two engineers teaming up. This is going to be good. Your skills enhance your skills. Interesting. Body. 
one hammer, nice. Close. You've got close range weapon. Um, impressive. Defensive. Uh, let's try aggressive. Nice. Put that away. All right, let's go, girl. Come on. All right. Oh, there you go. That works. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of it. And what all? He didn't exactly strike me as the most honest soul. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. You know this Adelaide? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. Flavorist? She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is, she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Like a job titled Flavorist. Can't leave it at that. Why were they arguing? Can't say as I know. I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt. If you can get out to her. Sure, the Zers are very fine people. So what? Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... It don't seem right to me, mister. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. I met the vicar. He asked me to find a book for him. Books are for rich folk. <laughs> I wonder what he wants with something like that. I like how this... This community has very old world... Like... Standards and practices, even though it's high tech. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Used to say, huh? I've always felt weird in here. It's too... Any progress on that matter we discussed? Ah, oh, Miss Holcomb. How rare to see you out, and with a complete stranger. Curious. This here's Vicar de Soto. He's always offering spiritual counsel to those that need it. Thank you for the kind assessment, Ms. Holcomb. I admit, I've been quite interested to make our outsider's acquaintance. Please, get it. What would you like to discuss? But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? 
Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Cut off power to Adelaide's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. What do you think of Adelaide's group? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? I don't know why number one is locked away. I guess I don't have enough intelligence. I don't know how much I'm supposed to need. What do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Not even possible. Not if things are left to stand as they are. Alright, bye. Ooh, level. Okay. God, look at my character. I look like I look like I should be in the game Destiny or something. Alright. Um Canyon damage bonus. Canyon of health. Yeah. Put a little bit of that in there. Um okay. Okay. Perks. And I'm rating that I will take. Okay. All right. And let's see. Why is this a companion quest? Did the vicar become a companion? Seems odd.
Damn, I got a lot of ammo for that now. Try this out as well. Providing sounds vaguely familiar. Probably heard the actress somewhere before, but I'm not thinking of where. There we go. Ain't by the river, huh? Machine gun. Hello. Well, that damage is crap. Uh, probably good overall over time, though, but still. Okay. Cave by the river. Shitty little domicile. All 
Alright, let's go check on that lockpick again. I think I raised my skill a little bit since last time. Here. That must have been... Okay, now it's free. Sweet. I wish I could do that. Nice. Saved myself a little bit of stuff. In caplets. Rifle. Right, Parvati. You'd like an assault rifle. And do you use up ammo when you use guns? Seven. Seven. I got about 10 minutes to go, doggo. Right now we're just going down to a cave down by the river. And boo! There's the journal. I just read it myself. And see. They read it. Journal. All right, Vicar. Got something for you. Back here. Something you need? I don't see much of your dad a lot, but never your mother. That's on account of how I never met her. How's that possible? 
She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Not long well with your dad. You might not have with your mother. Could be. Reckon I'll never know. You mean about the mission being too clean? I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. Why'd you want to talk to him? The Vicar's about the only soul in the Vale who spends his time thinking on what is and ain't right. It's just that when he looks at me, I feel I disappoint him. Well, it doesn't sound like you care much about what he thinks about it anyway, so it's whatever. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? <laughs> I can't fucking read French. Goddamn French. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. You didn't want to keep that book to keep others from reading it. You wanted it for yourself. Well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Hmm. I grid in backwater. What happened to all your crap about leading your flock? Please, those dolts? Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aetherwave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Sure, why not? Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Hmm. Are you even a real vicar? Of course. I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the Grand Plan. But instead, I ended up the Vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? Sure, why not? I don't know if this is going to replace Parvati or not, but we'll see. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's going to miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery and to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. <laughs> I like that. Like, uh, oh, everybody here is going to be sad to see you go. And he's like, yeah, fuck those guys, though. <laughs> Vati. 
Alright, perks. Um Boisterous. Oh, more bonus support engineering, yes. I want that. As for me. Um bit of that and a bit of that. Alright. At that point, let's leave it here for now.